Welcome back, folks. We almost and, had uh, to wake you up. I know. Welcome back, and uh, once again, we want to thank Tommy Johnson and the folks at uh, Howard Hanna for helping us out here for a while and keeping us alive. Um, I'm going to uh, venture out on a limb here and say that we're going to, or I'm going to email all of my email list uh, with the proper um, website or web page that you can pick up the uh, entertainment schedule and print it off from here at WPCR. Some of you have uh, claimed to tell me that it's very difficult to get to the schedule and I'm not buying that, but I'm going to make it even easier. Well, if you and I can get to it, how hard can it really be? I understand and I totally agree, but you know. Well, maybe we can just put a link on there for them. That's what I we think it, do. Uh, I think we have that technology. So uh, just whatever we can do to make it easy, we're going to do it. After all, my new car apologizes after flatulence, so I think we have the... Uh, so you got the steep stain stained already? No. No. Okay. Well, you know, from time to time we bring you uh, a segment called the Police Beat, which comes uh, directly from the Catawba Island Magazine, which is an interesting uh, piece of journalism to begin with, and uh, I know we all look forward to getting it, but uh, these are much more comical, shall we say, in the summer, but uh, I did come across a couple here today I think I need to share with you. And again, this is verbatim, and it's uh, from the Catawba Island Police Blotter. November 25th, taxi company reported a highly intoxicated female who fell from the taxi at her residence. Police found a purse on the ground outside of the residence and contacted the subject at the residence. Female unable to maintain balance and fell to floor while approaching the door on two occasions. Subject's family member spoke with the police, took purse, and stated the subject would be taken care of. Nothing further. And twice she fell trying to get to the door. There's a uh, hint there. Well, uh, yeah, I can't say it's never happened to me, but uh, certainly not to let the officers in. And then I uh, hear this is kind of our uh, public service announcement from Buck and Chuck and your friends at WPCR. Don't fall for these scams. And honestly, I thought everyone knew it already. So uh, I apologize if this is redundant. November 10th, complaint received. Wait a minute. Complainant received three calls from a man with a heavy foreign accent stating the complainant had won $3 million and asked him to wire $155,000 via Western Union to the subject in Pennsylvania in order that he could receive his winnings. Well, $3 million for $150K, that's a pretty good return on your investment. Um, I'm not sure I could have done it. And uh, also, there's another one that says, uh, Complainant listed an engine for sale on eBay. And it, hey, we need a little peace and quiet back here. Uh, complainant listed an engine for sale on eBay. An agreement was, was made with a party from Malaysia and received email appearing to be from PayPal requesting 900 and $68 regarding the transaction, so the complainant paid it. A second email appearing to be from PayPal requested an additional $1,523. When a third email came, the complainant became suspicious. The case remains under investigation. I wonder in that previous one there about the uh, heavy accented uh, foreigner, if it sounded anything like, hello, this is Peggy. It could have been Peggy. <laughs> all right, well, so much for that. So much. I don't know how you guys expect me to work in all of this confusion. I really don't. Um, let's play another song. Well, another you got one. one more to play? Another one. Oh, I got plenty more. Okay. This one goes back to you. You may recognize this. I recognize all of them so far. You did? Except that Billy Idol thing. 
Well, that, uh, we'll play it for you later. You'll like it. It's a very, a very catchy melody. Uh, this is called, this is by the Four Seasons, those Jersey Boys. Uh, and it, at least in their Broadway show, they didn't get the Spider-Man treatment, which called for ambulances and paramedics. But uh, anyway, it's called Working My Way Back to You. It's from 1965, and it's Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. Well, uh, the weather's been rather crisp and delightful lately. Yeah, and I'm ready for that crap to end, like right now. Well, you know, it's uh, 37 out there right now, and there for three weeks it never got above 21, so I think you should uh, be grateful. If there's 37 of them out there, I haven't seen a one of them. And I saw even less of them when there was 20. No, it's, uh, it's tough. The snow's gone, though. I can see my yard again. Which and is, how's it look? It, <laughs> it's dormant right now. Got the tra like you. tracks from the snowplow uh, in the front, but uh, well, that's called grading. It is, uh, and uh, here I'll give a little plug to my friend, Lay Property Management, who, uh, in exchange for this announcement, takes care of my yard for free. Isn't that right, Earl? Okay. See, this can happen to you too, folks. Just get your <laughs> message and a check in here, and we'll take care of you. <laughs> and I'm I'm getting concerned about my little birds that I've been feeding. I got a little bird feeder outside my door, and uh, it seems as though I'm supplying dinner to a Cooper's hawk. And I don't know, you usually see these Cooper hawks alongside the road, they're the ones sitting up on the telephone wires or the power wires with the big white breast. They're actually a member of the Kestrel family, K-E-S-T-R-E-L, uh, which is a small hawk by nature, just so you know. Whoa, we're talking about a fountain of information here. <laughs> yeah. And I came, came home the other night and uh, must have scared him. He was out down by the bush, so he took off and, and flew away. But I looked down, here was a pile of feathers, so I, I think I'm supplying dinner for him. Have you uh, been following the story of the rain of dead blackbirds in Arkansas? Yes. Well, well, Red-winged. Red-winged blackbirds. And uh, I was watching an update this morning from... Uh, naturalist or a Department of Resources guy or whatever the hell he was. It's called and, Tree Hugger. And they're uh, placing the blame. Now they have to count at 5,000 dead red-winged blackbirds. And they say that probably in that, what do you call it, roost or flock, whatever you call a group of birds. Pack of birds. Together. There are probably a million blackbirds in that one group, what a pack, for lack of a better word, but they've determined after autopsies and lab reports and gas chromatographs that uh, fireworks scared those poor birds to death. You know, I'm not sure I'm buying that. I'm not buying that. <laughs> Next thing you but know, that, some tree herder will be out there, well, we can't have fireworks anymore. <laughs> well. Kill the birds. Kind of like we're not, you know, shouldn't have those wind well, turbines. Well, you know, and that, uh, speaking of tree huggers, and as long as we don't have anything really to talk about, i got to tell you, I, uh, as I mentioned, I bought a new car a couple of days ago, and the salespeople were extolling the virtues of how green the car was. I thought it was kind of silver. Well, no, it's silver in color, but green ecologically speaking. Oh, and then the paperwork started. And they brought me literally a rainforest worth of trees <laughs> turned into papers to sign. I go, well, I guess that kind of equal out, equals out all that uh, eco-sensitive greenness you've been giving me. But uh, I had to sign papers to say that I could sign papers. Uh, but nonetheless, and, uh, and this was a cash deal. I really, I mean, I, I don't get it, but nonetheless, uh, big brothers out there, big FMO, FOMOCO brothers out there watching me. So, all right, let's play another song before I even bore myself to sleep. Uh, this is uh, from a group we don't hear of much anymore, but literally in the uh, late 70s and uh, all through the 80s, had hit after hit after bankable double platinum hit uh, Hall and Oates, Daryl Hall and John Oates. Uh, and uh, the one I selected from this duo is called You Make My Dreams Come True. And Buck, you and this show have made my dreams come true. 
also known as nightmares? Well, here you go. You make my nightmare come true. 